What's up y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Takara. if you're new to my channel. I have micro lock started with two strand twists about seven months ago now. I have a whole playlist dedicated to my hair on my channel so you can just check that out. But for tonight, I'm going to show you guys kind of like an updated wash day routine. And I'm also going to be trying out a new shampoo today. So all of my OGs know that I started out using the Kenra Clarifying Shampoo whenever I first started my locks. Now I currently jump back and forth between the Kenra Clarifying Shampoo and also this shampoo which is just by Trader Joe's. It's the Tea Tree Tingle Shampoo. I really like this one. As you can see this one is like there's almost nothing in this at all. The Clarifying Shampoo I bought like multiple bottles. So this one is still roughly kind of full, but ooh, it's hot in here, y'all. Anyways, I'm going to be putting both of my go-to shampoos to the side for this video, and I'm going to be trying out a new shampoo. I'm looking for something with a nice, sweet-smelling aroma, and I felt like Herbal Essence could give it to me. I don't know. Um, we're going to try it out. As I was doing some research, I found out that the reason why it's best to use clarifying shampoos is because it doesn't leave any buildup in my hair. I read somewhere that if I use a shampoo that is clear rather than a creamy consistency, I'll be good. I'm going to try out this Herbal Essence shampoo because it is clear and it's not a cream consistency. So I feel like you can use any kind of shampoo that you want as long as it's clear and it doesn't have a creamy consistency. Using those products might weigh down your hair and it might cause buildup in the end. but like I was saying, this one is clear, as you can see. What attracted me to this specific shampoo was the smell of it. It smells like roses. So I just cut out a clip of me having a coughing attack, and that's why my eyes are watery. I hadn't been crying, okay? Alrighty, so, um, yeah. Y'all are so hot in my bathroom. So this is the shampoo that I'm going to use. Um, unfortunately, I waited way too late to start doing my hair, and it's currently 9.34. I don't like to wash my hair past, say, 5 o'clock because I want my hair to dry all the way. I really don't like using hooded dryers to dry my hair. I would like for it to air dry, but it's too late, and I'm about to go to bed, and I don't want to go to bed with the wet head. So tonight, I'm just going to braid my hair, not band it. I'm just going to braid it. If you watched my 7 month lock update, I explained why I don't band my hair anymore with rubber bands. But to sum it up, it's basically because I feel like it causes unnecessary damage. So I'm just going to be braiding my hair tonight. Let's go ahead and do this. You guys, I have to turn this fan on because I'm dying in here. It's so hot. But it's ridiculous. Whew. How do I feel about being uh, a member of the Information Society? That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the Information Society.
Information Society? That's a difficult question because I didn't know we were in the Information Society. Okay, so now that all of my braids are in, I'm just going to wait to wash my hair in the morning because it's too late to do it now. So I'll see y'all in the morning when it's time to wash my hair. Good morning, y'all. It's the next day and it is 9.16 a.m. 9.16 a.m. And I'm about to go ahead and start washing my hair so that it can be dry by like 3 o'clock today because I have somewhere to be. Just had it tied bad. So these are my braids. So my hair is very uneven because before I even started my log, I decided to give myself a trim and I did it completely wrong. So my hair is just completely uneven. I basically just did the best that I could. Now, on to the washing of the hair. I'm going to take this, um, what are these called again? I'm going to take one of these bottles with the long nozzle. This is usually what I use to put the shampoo into my hair, but I have to dilute it first. So I'm going to put a little bit of this shampoo in here, and I'm also going to put some water in here, shake it up, and there's my solution. Now I'm just going to go ahead and get in the shower and wash my hair as normal. Alright y'all, so I finished washing my hair. Something that I think is very important for you to do is to dry your hair with a t-shirt. And I like to use black shirts because my hair is black. And if there's any lint transfer, it'll be the same color and it won't be like white or pink or something. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Now, it's just the waiting game. We just wait for, did I wash this all the way out? Let me wash the rest of this stuff out, you guys. that's all for today's video this is my complete wash day routine slash product review I guess you could say with this herbal essence shampoo again this is in the rose scent I really like the smell of it um, now the complications that I was having was more of a meat issue because I wasn't washing the shampoo all the way out and I still 
whenever I was taking down those braids, I was looking in the crown of my head. And I'm not so sure if I got all of it out because it's looking really white. So I might have to get back in the shower and rinse it out. This would happen to me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my social links down below. I'll talk to y'all in my next video and I'm out. This is the hardest thing.